because I get paid this Friday, I'm going to go and give me like a little high fade. Because I kind of feel like the sides just kind of just need a little touch. I'm getting a lot of salt and pepper. <clears throat> I forgot two characters to add to my list of the fictional characters that made me the, to the man that I am today. And those two, and I felt really bad actually that I for, even forgot to even mention one character in particular. One, one character in particular I kind of feel really bad about not even naming my man, dude. That's Goku. Goku is like... I know I said Arthur Morgan was my number one. But I take that back, dude. Goku's my number one. Because, what, Arthur Morgan didn't even exist until, like, what, 2019? Goku's been there for me, dude, since I was a young boy. Like, I remember looking forward to an episode of Dragon Ball Z each day of the week. It was like always a nail biter too, dude. Like when, when when a lot of situations Goku got himself into, dude. Whew, dude, that is like a kid's like Goku was a kid's John is a kid's John Wayne. Like so John Wayne to like an old grown man. That's what Goku is to like kids or actually dudes these days. You keep your John Wayne, I'll keep my Goku. That's all I'm trying to say is that I forgot my man Goku. And I didn't even realize it until I did legs yesterday. And, like, I listen to, like, motivational shit at the gym. But, like, your normal motivation doesn't motivate me too much. It does, but it doesn't. Like, watching The Rock doesn't really get me motivated for the gym. But anyway, this Goku motivational shit came on my YouTube. And I listened to it, and dude, it just, like... Goku's voice in my head, dude. And the way the video went was like, come on, you can do it. Like, don't go giving up right now. Hey, can you hear me? Don't go giving up now. Come on. Will you stop attacking yourself? I don't know where you got it in your head that there's something wrong with you, because there's not. What's draining your strength is your own doubt. Just don't listen to it, okay? This is the whole mindset of Goku. But then after listening to this whole motivational thing with Goku, like the next one that came on, because it's like on autoplay, so it plays whatever it wants next. That relate is that that's related to the video that you just listened to or watched or whatever. But this thing with Vegeta came on, dude. And that whole speech that Vegeta has, dude, it made me Dude, it made me teary, dude, for real. Do me a favor and look yourself in the mirror. Ask yourself, am I perfect yet? If the answer is no, you're right. Being the best version of yourself is part of self-improvement. It's either reaching your limit or breaking your limit. The first step to improve is to realize you're not perfect. Ask yourself who you are. Do you want to become? What are you going to do about it? A man conquers the world by conquering himself. Learn how to take control over your body and mind. When someone can make you angry, they become your master. There's many times where I've cried during a workout, after a workout, after a run. Dude, I've cried many times after doing these certain things, certain days. You know, by myself when no one's around a lot of the times. Like, really, I still push myself hard, dude. I, like, I try to push myself when there's... I try to pretend that no one's there, even when people are there. And I try not to make a scene. So I work out by myself is the way I work out in the gym. It's like, I'm going to fucking kill, kick my own ass, dude, even when no one's around. Just because I know that I'm there. <laughs> like, I, I can't respect myself if I fuck around at the gym, dude. I can't. I'm going to try to put, like, a... That video that I was talking about last night, there's two videos in particular. One with Goku and one with, with uh, Vegeta. And dude, they just hit hard. Goku's the man, dude. I'm not trying to throw too much shit out there, man. But sometimes, like, the house would get destroyed for some reason or something like that. I don't know. And you can't really control the way life is going when you're a kid. You're a teenager when you're a young man or whatever it is. And so... You look to things to try to keep you positive. 
and Goku was one of those things that just let, that I looked up to to keep me positive through shit. I'm not saying I'm not blaming my parents for anything, man. I'm really not blaming my parents for anything because they did a great job. Like, I'm glad I have my parents. I'm glad my parents were my parents. I thought about that as a kid. Like, yo, I'm glad my mom and dad are my mom and dad. You know what I'm saying? Like, as much as they, like, kind of, like, fight about stupid shit and then my dad gets a little too mad about something, <laughs> like, breaks a cabinet or whatever it is, punches a hole in the wall. Sorry, dad. I ain't trying to look this shit. <laughs> but... I know my dad will be watching these videos. I know he does watch some videos because he talks to me about videos. He's like, yeah, you should get me doing like some lottery tickets on one. Like I'll just I'll spend like two thousand on I'll like a thousand on lottery tickets. Like my dad showed me a bag of losing lottery tickets. So it was like four thousand dollars worth of just losing lottery tickets. I'm like, damn dad. I'm proud of the hustle trying to get it, man, but damn, bro. No, I'm not trying to judge my dad. I do that with food. I'm the same way with that with food. Like, the way my dad is with lottery tickets, that's how I am with, like, packs of beef and, like, cartons of eggs and shit. This spot right here, dude. I don't... Sure. Yeah, you like that tricep thing right there, dude? The straightened muscle. I was thinking, like, shoulders or, like... Because I didn't even do shoulders last week. I was thinking, if I wasn't going to do shoulders, I was going to do chest and triceps. And if I wasn't going to do chest and triceps and shoulders, I was going to do back and biceps. But I think I'm gonna do chest, triceps, and some shoulder. Like not just go hard on it, but just do it up a little bit. Get a little pumped up. That's what I need right now, for real. Cause I, I got some big changes I wanna make as far as like just me as a man, dude. Just me as becoming a better man. I need to do some cleaning up as far as like my character goes. And I mean by, like, not getting mad about stupid shit. Yeah, just be more calm about Just be more cool about stupid shit, dude. Like, not let shit too much bother me. Which brings me back to, like, that whole, like, Cliff Boot talk. Like, So, yeah, I've just been thinking a lot about fictional characters. I want to do something about, like, the non-fictional characters, too, that, like, the real dudes, you know? The real-life dudes. That, like made me help make me the man because like I said it wasn't just the fictional characters I don't even know why I'm in it so hard in this whole like thought but I know there's some kids out there that like don't have the same characters that they don't look up to the same characters like there's gotta be some kids out there that looks like look up to like what like fucking Blanca from Street like Street Fighter or something you know or like fucking Animal from uh What's that puppet shit? What's that puppet show called? I used to watch it all the time. What was that shit called? Damn it. I remember the theme song and everything, dude. Fuck, I forgot the name of it. They're like Gonzo, Kermit the Frog, uh, Miss Piggy. But yeah, there's some people out there that have like a character like that as they're like, and they're like fucking fictional characters. Like, what fictional characters do you think that changed you? For real. Like, which ones do you like the most? Because those are my favorite, for real. And then you got the non-fictional ones, and those are definitely different for everybody. There's some people that like the non that have the non-fiction people. I don't know, dude. That's an interesting, that's an interest, interesting thought, dude. So, yeah, the next video I'm going to talk about, the non-fictional characters that... I look up to in the past and now yeah that's what I'm gonna do but yeah anyway I'm about to be at the gym so yeah I'll probably hit like a chest try and a chest shoulder and try yeah dude exhilarating workout on the chest and tries I, I decided I'm just gonna save uh, shoulders for Today's Monday, so I'm going to save shoulders for Wednesday. I'm going to take tomorrow off from the weights. The old lady got work tomorrow night. Oh, shit. I don't know which this car. But, yeah, dude. It was a good one. And I'm going to tell you what I listened to on this workout. I listened to um, the Skyrim sound. The Sky... The Skyrim soundtrack. I listened to the Skyrim soundtrack. And, dude... 
That track, that album, dude. That album's got to be one of the greatest albums of all time. Because for me, like, I'm more of a dude. Yeah, I can, I can work out to music. Like, I can work out to, like, Guns N' Roses, whatever it is. I can get in the mood. But my favorite type of music to listen to, like, just sounds like the Morrowind soundtrack. There's no words really in that soundtrack. It's just sound. And it sounds amazing. Like, nature sound. I like listening to, like, the harp sometimes by, like, the ocean. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, I did listen to hard, like, music that got me, like, into the mood of, like, yeah, just, like, come on, come the fuck on, come the fuck on, let's do it. But now I'm getting older, it's, like, it's not like that at all. More, it, now, it's, like, a spiritual thing for me. But when I was younger, it was not spiritual, it was all cosmetic. So, the beauty of this is, is, like, you're suffering, but you're getting some cosmetic benefits, for sure. Like, and you're getting some health benefits for sure. No one can deny that. I don't think no one ever has and no one ever will deny that. Everyone feels better after running and working out lifting weights. Bro, all you need for real. You don't even need that much. Like a five, like a 10 pound dumbbell, just one. One five pound dumbbell, 115, 120, or just just get adjustable. Adjustable ball with some adjustable plates. And you're good to go, dude. Just get a pair of those and you're straight. And then just start doing shit, dude. And then when you get down the road, you get a little more advanced with the weights, and you try to hit that 40-pound curl. But yeah, for real, start light, dude. Get your form right. Once you get your form right, then you're on a good path. Then you can start messing around with the weight, you know? Start throwing some heavy shit around, whatever, have fun with also it. Also having a good frame of mind, like a good, like, yeah, that was a dude. I, wanna, I can't wait to go back and do it again tomorrow. You know, that's where you want to be. But yeah, dude, just do that. Run, you know, get a little jog in, dude. I like doing it at nighttime the best, but my wife gets worried about me. She's like, I'm scared. <laughs> Someone's going to shoot you. I'm like, why would someone want to come up? I understand. There, is people, there are people out there that would probably come up and just want to shoot me. For sure. But please don't shoot me. <laughs> For real, I'm about to be home. about to make some dinner, dude. All that beef talk got in my mouth like salivating. Get home to the wife and kids. You know. Nice little Monday though, dude. Nice little Monday, hit up that chest, that tricep, save the shoulder for tomorrow, or Wednesday. Maybe throw something else inside that workout, I don't know. But all right, y'all.